Welcome up to my channel. So today I am going to do my everyday face kind of for the fall and autumn season now that we are coming into that time of year. So I'm going to show you my foundation and just my normal facial routine. But I really wanted to show, share with you what I do for my lips because I get asked on my Snapchat and on my Instagram all the time, what are you wearing on your lips, Patricia? And I'm just going to tell you now, it's a combination of lots of different things. Because of the kind of lips I have, they're like big, but they're not shapely. And I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I have to create shapes. I have to create lots of layers and dimensions and lots of different textures and stuff like that. And they're looking a little bit ashy right now, but don't worry, we're gonna sort that out. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I like to do um, for my face and for my everyday look. It's a little bit heavier than most people, but obviously, because I do YouTube videos and you know go out quite a bit, I, I wear a bit of a heavier makeup look, just as an FYI. So I'm gonna talk through this video and hopefully you find it useful. Also I'm working with House of Fraser on their beauty confidential events. They have got £10 off lots of beauty. It's between the 7th and the 22nd of September. It'll be in store and online so make sure you check it out if you want to get some of the goodies that I've got in my video or if you're just trying to update your makeup collection you should definitely have a good look there because there's some great discounts available. Um, I'll link everything in the description bar below so you can find out more about it and the products I'm using in this video. So get comfortable and enjoy so at the moment my skin is just you know I have to say it's kind of amazing right now it's just got really clear and um, I'm kind of glowing <laughs> which I, I, I'm loving and I feel like loads of people have noticed that about my skin recently so thank you guys um, but to be honest I've always had relatively good skin besides my large pores which I talk about all the time which have definitely improved and I do have quite a good skincare routine. I'm using the Laura Mercier primer and I never used to really use primers but I genuinely noticed a difference. And I've started using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Um, I love the applicator, it's got this chunky applicator which you can either put on the back of your hand or just dash on your face like this if you so desire. And what I like is I just think the colour is really warm and actually in the winter I can get quite cool um, and get a little bit dry looking and I feel like this just gives me that richness in colour. And Clinique have a really good colour range. And it could look a little bit red at first but you'll see it just starts to blend in perfectly. This is the look I was wearing in my most recent haul. Like everyone was asking about what I had done. It's basically just this. <laughs> After that, I still use my double wear concealer. I can't go wrong with it. I love these applicators. They make my life so easy. And I just do basically line down my nose and then um, just under my eyes as well. Kind of do it in like a star there as well. Uh, look here which is great for me because I'm going to show you my lip look um, and just show you how I create a Cooper's bow as well. Line there, line there. And I'm just going to use a flat foundation brush to tap that all in. And then I contour with Estee Lauder's Double Wear in a darker colour as well. This is called Mahogany and this is actually the um, foundation um, but I really like it for contouring as well. And I try not to contour too, too much but I just do it down the side of my nose I just create a little line to create like a little button nose and then just like here and around here to make a C shape. And I'm applying it a little heavier just so you can see it a bit more um, because I know sometimes my camera washes things out. And then it's all about just blending it all in because nobody wants any harsh lines all over their face, you know? And I can just use my finger on my nose area. 
Right, next I'm going to do my brows, but I'm saving my brows for another video, so keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll show you exactly what I do for my eyebrows. And then once they're done, I'm just going to get on with the rest of my face, which is really quick and really easy. So my brows are done and as you can see, they do make a big difference for my face. It kind of makes you look more human when you actually have like respectable looking eyebrows. I don't even know if you think they're respectable, but I think they look good. For my eyes, I like to keep it simple. I'm using the MAC um, palettes. I think these are the warm neutrals, but there's cool neutrals and everything. And for me, I love this palette because you can just do one eye look. You can even create a whole face with this if you really, really wanted to. And um, it's quite expensive, but it's a worthwhile investment, I would say. And I'm just going to use the nude kind of brow brown on my lid. And what I like to do is just to patch that on. Again, it's a really neutral colour, kind of almost looks like my eyelid colour. And then I'm going to go for the kind of mauvey, mauvey brown up here, but this comes out more like a dark brown on me. And then I always use a swish of gold. I'm going to go for the warmer gold. I just kind of put it in my tear duct and um, a little on my lid. And I'd use a much more kind of pointy or smaller brush. So nowadays I don't really wear an eyeliner in my eyes, but I always wear a winged eyeliner. It's just a thing. It makes the eyelashes that I wear look better and my eyes look bigger because I have got quite small eyes. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. And sometimes I just add a little dot And then I'm just going to add some mascara, which always makes some difference to my eyelashes. I've said this a lot of times, I actually have very curly eyelashes, so I like to brush it downwards and then upwards. I feel like it stretches those out and I've never used an eyelash curler. I bought them, but I've never used them. <laughs> and then the blush that I'm using is a Max Fever, which is a really nice warm blush warm warmish blush for I think you can use this on any skin tone but this one's not too cool on me which is why I really really like it I can go a bit overboard on it but I like the way it looks right, now I'm gonna get my eyelashes on so with my eyelashes on I feel a little bit more like normal and I'm not gonna lie to you I do wear falsies like every day sadly it is a habit but I really like the way I look with them on and yeah sadly right so now that's basically my face done I'm actually just gonna highlight a little bit and I'm just going to use a gold eyeshadow if you guys you know don't have highlighters you can either watch my strobing video to show what I do or you can just use eyeshadow which is nice and quick and easy it's something I enjoy doing. So when it comes to my lips, it's always about combining lots of different things. I don't ever just use one lip product. I use lots of different liners and they all mix it up. Um, I'm gonna start off by using the Urban Decay Ultimate Zone. It's a multi-purpose primer pencil and I do quite like it on my lips. And I just put this on. Kinda like a moisturizer, but it really does help to make my lip products last longer and then um i usually go for either a purple or a brown to out my line my lips i'm using max chestnut it gets a lot of use and i feel like it just create it's a nice brown i bring it in or i keep it low and i also kind of feather it in and then I'm using Laura Mercier's Chestnut. It's a, pen a lip pencil which I really like to create a really nice nudie lip. And I just love the way it looks. With pencils, they do need a bit of work. And if you can, exfoliate your lips before you do it. So this is my nudie brown look, it's a really matte look, I've just used two pencils to create this look and for me I find this the best way to wear a brown because I feel like some other browns have just made me look quite sickly or they don't work for my skin tone but I really like this look because it's not like too full on dark brown but it's got like a bit of depth to it. So this is this, next I'm simply going to show you how I'd move from, from this kind of matte to like a satin, I'm using the Kiss Kiss, Kiss lipstick from Guerlain. And if you know me, I, I love a pink as well. 
then I love to like throw a pink like this on I do this all the time if I get bored of the matte lip and then I, I'll just go back in with that Laura Mercier chestnut So just by using that lipstick, I've kind of changed my look. This is what I would do maybe if I got a bit bored of the matte lip or if my lips started to get a little bit dry, I'd go in, put this on. It changes the texture completely and the look as well. And this is very simple and it's a bit more pinky because I love a pinky lip. And then finally, I think my favourite has to be gloss. I'm going with the YSL um, lip gloss here and this is kind of a plumping gloss as well. <laughs> Not that I need the plumping, but I love the way glass make my lip feel. Um, and this is a really nice nudie colour as well. And I feel like it just makes everything pop because of all the layers underneath. You can see that my lips now look really luscious. I'd probably put a little bit more lip liner on it so it doesn't look so, you know, crazy. Um, so guys, that is basically the look with a little bit of gloss on it, and I think gloss is my favourite. I feel the most comfortable wearing gloss. It's not the most trendiest thing in the world, but it feels so good on, you know? Um, but that is my everyday makeup, guys. It's maybe a little heavy for some and probably a bit boring for others, but this is how I like to do um, my makeup quite regularly, and it's just some of my lip looks as well that I wear on a very regular basis. So if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, it's probably a combination of these things here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that and you found it useful, but I'll catch you later. And make sure you guys check out the Beauty Confidential events. Yeah, no, so make sure you check out my link in the description bar below. You can get 10 pounds off so many beauty bits. I think there's like 30 favorites, including lots of the products I've used in this video, which are my old classics and favorites. So if you want to top up, check that out. And in the meantime, I'll see you on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.